in part one, you were given a lot of evidence that proves Jiren does have Ultra Instinct. However, there are still questions that need to be answered. Firstly, you were shown in the last video that the creators chose to give you a hint at how Jiren's powers work with this moment and with this attack. But what exactly was it that they were trying to show you? Secondly, if Jiren is the rumored mortal, stronger than the God of Destruction, then don't you think that he would have mastered Ultra Instinct, a power that even the gods struggle to obtain? The answer is yes. Well, if that's true, then that brings up a different question. How was something like this even possible? Part two will explain both what this eye power is, as well as why Jiren, who should have mastered Ultra Instinct already, was able to be scratched by Goku Ultra Instinct. It was explained to you in part one that there was no coincidence that Jiren's eyes flashed orange just before Rabanra, the orange fighter from Universe 2, ran away, and that Jiren's eyes showed a blue ring just before he eliminated Majikayo, the blue fighter from Universe 3. But why were these the only two times that you saw something like this happen? After giving you the same clue twice, the creators didn't see a need in showing it again. This clue was that Jiren was seeing the inner being of his opponents. But what does that really mean? And what does it have to do with Jiren having Ultra Instinct? To explain this, you need to fully understand Whis's explanation of why Goku's attacks were ineffective in his fight versus Keifla. Goku had reached Ultra Instinct again. His fight with Jiren had taken every bit of energy he had, but with the boost of energy given to him by Frieza and the surprising fusion between Khalifla and Kale, Goku had built his stamina up again. But he soon found himself in a situation that was very similar to this moment during his fight versus Jiren. Goku was drained yet again, and with no energy left to fight with, his life was in danger. Keifla's attack forced Goku's body to once again take over. By pushing his mind to the side and letting his instincts think for him, Ultra Instinct was awakened for a second time, but this time it was even stronger. Yet somehow, Keifla was rising from each attack as if hardly anything had happened to her. How was this even possible? Goku looked at his fist as he realized there was much to learn about this Ultra Instinct power. He was sure the more he learned, the more effective his attacks would become. Whis confirmed this as he explained to the eliminated Universe 7 fighters what was happening. Goku's attacks weren't doing much because he hadn't learned how to leave everything to instinct. By using attacks with Ultra Instinct, Goku would no longer have to think about which attacks would be the most effective. His subconscious would make that decision for him. The most effective attack doesn't necessarily mean the strongest attack. It also has to do with saving stamina. If Goku was fighting someone weak, it wouldn't make sense to go all out. He could use a weaker attack to win and at the same time also save some energy but someone such as Jiren would deserve a much stronger attack to win against. So how would he be able to make such a decision? Goku's subconscious would first have to read his opponent and measure the amount of skill and power being held within them. Exactly what Jiren's already been seen doing in the two examples from before. But have you ever noticed that Jiren has done something similar to what you just saw in every single one of his attacks? Berserk was the perfect name for this behavior. Kale's uncontrollable, angry power had a terrifying path of destruction that the Pride Troopers happened to be standing in. Jiren had seen enough of this. The best option to keep anyone from being hurt, or even worse, was to eliminate this woman now. His key blast sent Kale flying backwards, and just before an explosion surrounded her body, Jiren suspiciously opened his eyes much wider. In that moment, Jiren had read Kale's power and realized that no more was needed to end her fight. Later, his epic fight versus Goku arrived. Jiren allowed Goku to throw his trump card directly at him, but he wasn't afraid. Jiren lowered his hands. They were no longer needed. His eyes flashed with the bright light that was coming closer to him. Suddenly, the Genki Dama changed its direction and was now heading for Goku, but their fight wasn't over yet. As Goku proved the strength of his newfound ability, Jiren was forced to step it up. He looked into his opponent's inner being and measured the difference in power that had so suddenly taken place. His eyes flashed red, signaling his body to push harder than before. Jiren found himself victorious. Clearly, there was no one here that could defeat him. Hit was no exception. But Jiren let his victory against Goku and his ability to adapt to Hit's time skip get to his head. He found himself trapped in time, unable to move. But with the measurement of this hold Hit had on him, Jiren's eyes flashed. This was to give you a visual representation that the power measurement required to do an attack while using Ultra Instinct was taking place. The same reason why the creators showed you the orange flash of Rabanra's orange skin and a blue ring targeting the blue Majikaya, as well as why Goku's eyes flashed right before attacking Keifla. But the fact still remains that even Goku was able to do this after accessing Ultra Instinct only twice. 
by watching Goku gradually get better with his new technique. You were given proof that this isn't something you can master instantly. Like anything else, it takes time and training to perfect. So if Goku's subconscious was at least trying to measure Kefla's power, after only his second time experiencing Ultra Instinct, then Jiren doing the same thing isn't really all that impressive. And therefore, it doesn't really prove that Jiren's mastered Ultra Instinct yet. In fact, it makes Jiren's abilities seem pretty weak. Why? Because of the second question you need answered. How is this even possible? Goku had gone through each of his forms, testing out Jiren's strength. Super Saiyan God was blocked by only a finger. And soon after, Jiren was tossing Super Saiyan Blue around with hardly any effort. Goku realized he couldn't win this battle alone. But even after gathering the energies of the strong teammates that he cared for, Goku found himself using every ounce of power he could find within himself. And as he fell into the black hole beneath him, his body was forced to push his mind to the side. He had no time to think about how to survive this. His instincts were all he had. When he appeared back in the world of Void, he had awakened Ultra Instinct. But this was only his first time accessing it. Yes, he had been doing specific training to obtain this technique, but his body wasn't really ready for it yet. He had gained it before his time had really come because of the simple fact that his life depended on it. What that means is this. Goku would need more training than normal to actually master Ultra Instinct. And that makes things even more complicated and confusing. If Goku's attacks were weak versus Kefla, because that was only his second time using Ultra Instinct, then can you imagine how weak they were his first time using it versus Jiren? How in the world had Goku, a brand new fighter to this technique, made any kind of mark on Jiren? How could someone whose attacks were extremely ineffective at the time be able to land an attack like this on someone who had completely mastered both dodging and attacking abilities while using Ultra Instinct? The answer is very simple. Jiren's dodging abilities aren't very good. Therefore, Jiren has not mastered Ultra Instinct yet. At least, not that side of it. There's an important lesson for you to learn by seeing Jiren use his eye reading ability before all of his attacks. It's clear that this is Jiren's specialty. He's shown the ability to dodge with Ultra Instinct before, but not nearly as many times as we've seen him using the more aggressive attacking side. This should make you even more confident in the fact that Jiren hasn't mastered the dodging ability while using Ultra Instinct. But with the explanation Whis gave you, this honestly doesn't make any sense. As Whis continued with his explanation of Goku's poor attacks to Kefla, he stated that attacking with Ultra Instinct was the hard part. So how could Jiren master the harder part before the easier dodging part? There is one possibility though. What Whis meant by saying that using attacks with Ultra Instinct is the hard part, he really meant it was the hard part for Goku specifically. It's possible that which ability a person can master with Ultra Instinct first depends on what type of person they are, what suits their personality the best. The fact that you've seen Jiren use more attacking abilities over dodging abilities proves to you that he depends more on an aggressive, offensive style of fighting. And that means Jiren depends on physical strength. But didn't you learn in part 1 that one of the main lessons Jiren had learned in order to access the power of the gods in the first place was that he must focus more on his inner self than on physical training? Just by looking at Jiren's physique, it's clear mental training is not the only type of training he does. But it's also clear that most of the training he does is through meditation. How can he have physical strength like that by meditating all the time? This brings you back to the first benefit of meditation that was given to you in part 1, the improvement of physical strength. And as promised in the last video, here's the proof that they've shown this concept in the show before. But what does Frieza attacking some spies have to do with Jiren gaining physical strength through meditation? Consider what Frieza had stated in the moments before this scene had happened. Frieza had returned. His evil ways had been bottled up too long in that cocoon of his, and he was ready to get those frustrations out. Who better to take them out on than spies attempting to make him and Goku late to the Tournament of Power? Frieza instantly turned golden, but Goku reminded him that they would be fighting again right after this. Perhaps this form would drain too much of his energy, but Frieza wasn't worried at all. He explained that the only way he had made it through all this time was to keep his composure with mental concentration. And through this process, the control of his energy had improved significantly. This same exact lesson you learned from part 1 that was crucial to Jiren figuring out how to reach the level of the gods. There had been no way for Frieza to physically train inside the shell. This forced him to train in a different way. The secret to Frieza's increased physical strength was through meditation. And in the same way, Jiren has also been using meditation to increase his aggressive attacking side of Ultra Instinct. 
This is proof that it is possible for Jiren to depend solely on physical strength, even if he mostly trains his mind. More evidence that he's really only focused on the part of Ultra Instinct that suits his personality best, and therefore, proof that he's yet to master it. And if you think about it, this makes Jiren's red aura make even more sense. Does it an aggressive approach to fighting? And the red aura of Ultra Instinct sounds strangely familiar to another character? Could it be?